say hi. I'm Kim Clark, and I am a member of Mother's for Justice. And um, this is our first um, health fair, and our theme is strengthening our community, one body at a time. And um, we are, I'm part, as I said, part of Mother's for Justice. And what we're doing, we're trying to get our community A woman from, from Yale, mammography came in and was talking to us about the importance of, um, of breast cancer and how we should get our mammograms done and so forth like that. And then we decided, why don't we bring it to the community and just have a health fear so that everyone can, you know, can do it. So that's how, that's how. And so it was just brainstormed a couple months ago and, uh, and we just put it together. I'm here on behalf of the Healthy Start with the Baby Buddy Program. Um, the Baby um, Buddy Program is um, working with young mothers that um, in their first trimester of pregnancy. So i um, talk to them about um, safety and the health of their babies. You know, how the um, babies are dying and, you know, how to, you know, take care of their pregnancy and eat right and do kind of food and stuff. Most of them who haven't seen someone for seven or eight years because right. of the fact that That's they don't right. have any insurance and they don't go to the doctors. And, they don't go and a to lot the of them, when they do go, it's uh, too late for a lot of them. But that's what I advocate. I'm going to the doctor's office. Because so this gives a state that we'll give you medical care even if you don't have insurance. All the hospitals will. Yeah. So there's no reason for not getting medical care. Well, I'd like to see, I'd like to see us follow up on our health. I'd like to see us um, get primary doctors. A lot of us don't have primary doctors. You know, we use the emergency room as the primary doctor, which, which isn't good all the time. You know, it, it's costly. It's cost, it, I mean, it's costly, and, and, and it gives us a bad thing. This is a, a bad breath, you know, and stuff. And uh, just, just to follow up and just be healthy because if we can't be healthy, we have to be healthy to be healthy for our kids, you know, and that's what it's all about. You know, it's all about our children. And it's my community project from the um, PLIC. And um, we want the mayor to be aware of the complaints about the roads and the safety of it. And also, the why, why are there potholes, so many potholes in the street? And streets that very seldom travel have brand new roads. The streets that are traveled all the time have have um, worn out and deteriorated. And they have patchwork done on them. And when it rains, it seems like the hole gets bigger. And my daughter, she calls them craters. I had a lot of work done on my car due to potholes in the road. I'm up to like almost $700 worth of car repair due to potholes in the road. Wow. So what are you looking to have done? I'm looking for the mayor to either find out um, to get the, the work streets done or to put up signs letting, making drivers and people aware of how, how the poor condition of the road and to give them a, 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 you know, so that they have an ultimatum if they want to travel that road or they want to take an alternate route. Why go down a raggedy road if you don't have to? but just making them aware of it, be caution of street damage. So drive at your own risk. 